Hello everybody and welcome. This is History Dude and today we are continuing our series of the history of battle with the campaigns of Hammurabi, the Babylonian king. Now this is a picture of Hammurabi. Now he came to the throne of the small city-state of Babylon early in the 18th century BCE. He was initially part of an alliance led by the relatively powerful kingdom of Assyria. Now, correspondence exists to show that Babylon and Assyria agreed to support each other with troops if needed. Now, in about 1763 BCE, however, Hammurabi moved away from his alliance. He led a coalition of forces from Babylon and the allied cities of Eshuna and Mari to defeat King Rimsin of Larsa, another of Hammurabi's former allies, who controlled the most important cities in southern Mesopotamia, including Uruk, and Ur, down here. Oh, where's the mouse? Right here. Right here. Archaeological evidence suggests that Hammurabi dammed up a main water course that supplied Larsa, achieving victory either by suddenly releasing the water and flooding the city, or by withholding water from its desperate inhabitants. He then turned upon his newer allies, defeating Eshuna in 1761 and conquering Mari in 1760 BCE. The latter revolted against its conqueror in 1758, but Hammurabi again defeated it and ordered the destruction of its walls. Now, this, these victories gave Hammurabi control of an area that extended from the Syrian desert to the Persian Gulf, and he built fortifications to defend this territory, but following his death, the empire disintegrated. So this is basically another empire that sprang up under... Hammurabi this time instead of uh, Sargon and as you can see this is a picture of a typical Mesopotamian town you can see the ziggurat or temple um, in the main part right here um, this is where they would worship their gods and this is where the priests lived and the priests dictated you know they, they controlled the irrigation and the food supply and pretty much everything really that wasn't controlled by the kings was in charge of the priests and these are the walls that Hammurabi would have destroyed and erected to protect his cities and as a final note I will give you some of Hammurabi's laws now if a man has put out the eye our yeah if a man has put our yeah that's great Great typo. If man has put out the eye of another man, they shall put our <laughs> his eye as well. So basically, if you put a guy's eye out, you're getting your eye out too. Now, if a builder has built a house for a man with the result that the house falls down and kills the owner, the builder shall be put to death. If a son has struck his father, they shall cut off his hand. And if a man has accused another man and has brought a charge of murder against him but has not proved it, the accuser shall be put to death. So it goes to show Hammurabi was a man of fairness. And the laws they were using back then could... We can learn a thing or two from them about fairness and equality. Our current legal system is pretty messed up. But that's about it for Hammurabi. I hope you have enjoyed this short video explaining his campaigns in detail. And as always, have an awesome day.